Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I am Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today is part three in a little mini series that I am doing of unboxing all of my new figures from E2046. Today I have another big one for you. This one is Super Sailor Venus in her attack formation. I'm so excited to check this one out. Ah. So E2046 is a website that makes a whole bunch of different kinds of figures as garage kits that you have to paint yourself. They also make ones that are pre-painted. Those are the ones that I prefer to get because I'm not that artistic and they do an amazing job of painting. So I just prefer to let them do it and then I'll pay the extra for their labor costs. But that way I know that I'm getting an absolutely beautiful figure as opposed to something that I might mess up. Now I already do have a couple of figures from them. Human Luna featured over here. She's made out of PVC, I wanna say. And I also have a resin statue up here of Super Sailor Moon. Now I have unboxed Super Sailor Mars in her attack sequence, as well as Galaxia. And both of them were just gorgeous. And the next one that I had pre-ordered was Super Sailor Venus. So she just came in, I wanna say last month. So she hasn't been in my household too long, but it's been plenty of time for me to just like gawk at the box. So I'm really excited to get her out of the box. If E2046 has these available right now, I will put links down below so you can easily find them. And if they provide me with any kind of coupon codes, those will be down below in the description as well. I do recommend as always, and I mentioned this in each of my E2046 videos, to keep the foam padding as well as the little pieces of packaging material because if you move, this makes it really easy to transport resin figures without damaging them. If you have to assemble the character, it will come with assembly instructions and each of the pieces in the box is labeled with numbers. Now Super Sailor Mars, I had a slight issue with because the stakes to put her into the stand, it wasn't totally recognizable which of the holes the stakes were supposed to go into. So I had accidentally put Super Sailor Mars into the wrong one and then I had to pry out her little stake so that I could put the piece of fire in where it was supposed to go because I put it together the wrong way the first time. So hopefully I don't make that mistake with Super Sailor Venus. Although I think this one will be a little bit easier to put together because these two side pieces have larger stakes. So it's visually easy to tell which hole they are supposed to go into. All right, so I got my stand out. Let's go ahead and get all the little pieces out. Since these are all resin, it's recommended to be really, really careful with them because they are fragile. So interestingly, just like Sailor Mars, only one of her legs is attached and the other one has to be magnetically put into place right at the hip. But one of the nice things about E2046 is they started including magnets in all the pieces so they like snap together, which makes the process so easy. And that's great as well because I don't consider myself like an expert with resin or garage kit statues. I just wanna collect them because they're pretty. So the easier they make it for me, the more I can collect them. Her head's kind of stuck in there because her hair goes like all over the place. So I'm gonna be really careful with this piece. I don't wanna break it. And I want her hair to all stay together. I don't want her hair to break off. Okay, I think this is the last piece. Yay, there's Venus. She has a really cute facial expression. We have all the pieces together. So now I can actually put her together. So let's go ahead and do the assembly. Here we have her head with her hair flowing outwards. Looks really cool. Again, E2046 does really amazing airbrushing and shading when it comes to showing off the features of these different figures and Sailor Venus is no exception. They did a great job painting her face. <laughs> her expression is so cute. I just love it. So one place you can really see detail in the shading is in her skirt. So here we have really, really beautiful job done on her skirt shading. You can see where the shadows are. And they also did a really good job of getting that star on her choker, as well as the gold heart in the middle of her bow. They do a good job of making sure the gold only hits the heart, the brooch, as opposed to having any of it bleed onto the bow itself. So I definitely think that E2046 does a good job when it comes to painting and making sure that everything is high quality. Okay, let's get to assembling her. Now, I think I'll start with 
the bow on the back since that seems to be kind of hidden by her hair once her hair is situated. There we go, there's her bow. It's kind of flying backwards. I like how there is some action going on so you can see which way the wind is blowing. Then we have her other leg. There we go. And her two arms, like so. She looks awesome. This is a really cool figure. Now I think she goes in like this. These stakes are pretty tight. So when I slide them in, I'm pressing down as close to her foot as I can to ensure that I don't snap any pieces. And then we have these, which go in a circle all the way around. Now it's hard to tell from the picture. I think the taller one goes towards her right side and then the shorter one goes on her left side. That's what it looks like, so hopefully that's correct. And one of those goes there. The other one goes on the opposite side. And do these match up? Oh, they do. They click into place. Hey, look at that. Okay, cool. She's got her, her halo <laughs> of magic. And then her head goes on the top. Oh boy. Hopefully I get this in place correctly. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I did it. <laughs> okay, she was easier than Sailor Mars, I have to say. Definitely easier. So here is the finished product. Cool. She's cute. I love how her hair is sweeping to the side. So you can definitely tell like the wind is going to circle around her. That's really cool. There's like a lot of action happening with this figure. Now I'll show you a close up. Here she is. What do you think of Sailor Venus? I think she looks beautiful. She was definitely easy to put together. Just took a little bit of time and a little bit of patience to make sure I didn't force my hand anywhere with like the bow or the love me chain. I think she looks really gorgeous. E2046, you did a great job with these figures. All right, so that was my last E2046 figure for this month. However, I do have many other pre-orders hopefully on the way soon. I'm keeping an eye out so that I can get those shipped as soon as they release. So keep an eye out on the channel as well if you are interested in seeing those videos in the future. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs, Janae.